or level checking. Test one, two, test. Test one, one, two, test. Test one, two. And another wabbit dead. I'm a wabbit boy. Uh, as you may have detected there, we are uh, playing over top of a Metallica album, uh, one of the scuzz bands of the uh, heavy metal rock scene. My name's Paul Kelly. I live in uh, Anderton Township, in Essex County, in the Great Lakes, on the planet Earth. I'm an earthling. I try to live off the land, and I definitely try and stay in harmony with it. I was born in England. Hang on here. Sorry about that. You're going to have to take this as it comes and goes. Anyways, uh, I was born in England, Coventry. Moved to Canada in 1957. Arrived Halloween night. Might have had something to do with my destiny, but I don't know. I don't much like getting dressed up on Halloween night. We moved to Windsor. The west side. It was quite a side. A tough side. And you had to know whose side you were on on the tough side. Hopefully the tougher side. And after about 22 or 3 years of this bullshit, or actually, I'm sorry, I forgot the six in England, but let's let's just put it. Let's put it down for 20 years anyways. Because it was in 77 that I decided to leave and go to what they call God's country, heaven, the mountains. Started with nothing. Worked all the time. Never had to break a law didn't even get involved with any crime. Slowly began to bond with Mother Nature. She'd hold my hand, I'd hold hers. I could feel the warmth of the land. I could see. I could smell. I could hear. And I could touch. And every time I did, I realized that this is what it was all about. That life was such. I tried to climb the mountains to their peaks, fish the rivers in the valleys below, look for my soul and my peace. Everything went fine until I had to return to the West End. Took two years above that, and that was about it, and found myself a, a, a more rural situation. We call it the Magic Farm. Got the magic bush out back. Rabbits running around the backyard. Tons of bunnies in the barn. Got the ducks just uh, hatching out their ducklings, and uh, I guess they're going to stick around for a while. That's good news to somebody, I know. You got the uh, the geese sitting on some eggs out there, too. Any day now, any day. Rollers all over the place. Putting on a fantastic show. We've been working hard on that garden, and uh, I know this is going to show. And one kid's floated away to the right. And the other, with Jumping Jack Jer, or Jumping Jer Flash, he jumped the wall. And they still haven't caught his ass. That's right. The children are breaking away, trying to break the bond. I wrote it down in this little poem. Breaking the bond. Hands tight on the cord. They pull harder, stretching every strand. This is only just the start. 
more, much more is to come. Seeking freedom, leaving home, while the wild world waits with its open arms, full of mysteries and disguised harm. Yet they pull harder, beating all the odds, like frightened trout who break your rod. But the line still holds, despite the stretched strands, it knows that love holds, and there will be no breaking of the bond. So freedom will come, so each can take a chance. But there will always be a home and another last chance. Because they're our children, and we do love them so, and we will never, ever break the bond, even if they go. Okay, we're still playing around here with the uh, equipment, trying to get it to uh, work a little bit better. See if we can get this poetry reading down a little bit better. That was one of the newer ones, so I haven't quite got it down as the way I'd like to uh, read it. But uh, I'll get to, uh, I'll get to another one. Uh, I'm not trying to stay on the downside, but this was about uh, a young child from the West End uh, with very young parents and. Uh, it was a big media thing, and the, the kid had gone uh, disappearing. Uh, parents said it had been kidnapped, or it seemed that it had been kidnapped and stuff like that. Hung banners out. It was a big media event uh, for the United States cameras and stuff like that. And it kind of touched everybody's heart, and it got people going. Eh? People were really uh, getting a little uptight about it, and, that, and uh, started suspecting the, uh, the young father. And uh, eventually they found the baby, and... Uh, floating in the river, the Detroit River, and that's the terrible part about the whole story, and next thing you know, it uh, anger started going, and the young father was quite a brash person, and and things happened, and uh, in the end, uh, in the end, I wrote this poem, it's called Ghetto Change. Ghetto change. Twenty dollars for a dime. Escalating costs, rising crime. Solid people triumphing toes. Bloodied bodies that no one knows. Young babies cry out in fear. Mother's wholesome milk nowhere near. These things have lasted so long. Everyone's a critic. No one's wrong. Yet as we look into the mirror of today, the fault is ours, and we have to pay. A young child screams out into the night, lost and disillusioned. All he hears is his parents fight. He's a product of the ghetto, an endless reflection of a product of the ghetto. The style of light handed down over the years. An empty house full of fears. Suddenly they find him, dead. He'd seem lost, but for the bruises on his head. Pointed fingers in the air. Angry neighbors everywhere. It doesn't matter to the child. He'd seen enough life. It would have drove him wild. His soul is now free with the heavens to range. All his hopes are dashed. Only wanting ghetto change. Okay, starting to uh, starting to roll with it now. Yeah, I have to excuse the uh, the recording. It's a very primitive apparatus, and you have a very nervous amateur poet here trying to put across a few poems to you. And uh, speaking of children and, and despair and stuff like this, this is one that came out of the uh, the nuclear age. And uh, one that may come out of the post-nuclear age. 
It's called This War. Bombs blasting, children asking, must we have this war? The world is melting and acting like a whore. We've sold ourselves to the end. The lights blinding, the roads winding. There is no answer the children are finding. It's too late to turn back. Swords clashing, people trashing everything that was. The end grows near as the answer comes clear. Not only must we have, but we have had this war. Onward and upward. Still playing a few little uh, tricks with the mic here, trying to get it to work all right. Get everything a little streamlined. Good Mother Earth here. That's what we need. You need a little religion in your life. That's right, a little religion in your life. And did you realize that Mother Nature created God? That's right. Mother Nature created God. The stars fucked. Out came the earth. Green, blue, and white. And everything was all right. And in the colors came a certain life. Balanced like a precision machine. Everything has a reason. Rhyme and theme. Then rock began to play, and the dark became the day. Once in the light, all that is began to grow, and in this began man's quest to want to know. As he watched life all around, in its mysteries and uncertainty he found, for he knew not what it was, and so doing created God. For him, an answer for all his uncertainties, based on fear, scriptures, and prophecies, all woven into a common bond for him, himself to please. Yet life went on amongst the water and the trees. They had a balance of life for them to please. For one must go for one to come. Some are old and some are young. Each has its place, time, and scene. For eternity this is being in Mother Nature's magic, reason, rhyme, and theme. And I'm just going to carry on here uh, with a little bit of Mother Nature's queen, the flower. As you've obviously noticed, the elegance of words I do not know. Ah, but the brilliance of a flower I do know. Dashing, splashing, red, white, and yellow, orange, purple, and green are all the colors that are seen. Speechless as I may be, my eyes light up with glee. In the face of nature's beauty, her queen, the flower. Sometimes you see a lot of flowers when you're looking out windows. Other times, you see wide open spaces. Looking across the freshly plowed fields of future corn, an endless row of furrows crossing a wide open space. Seeing an early evening shooting star, a fragment of a meteorite, an ending of a journey crossing a wide open space. Each a beginning, each an ending, spending their entire life crossing a wide open space. The birth of a baby is the start of life. The death of an elder is its ending. Each with the same time spending crossing a wide open space. And uh, who could get by? without a little recreation, without a little fishing, cigarettes burning in the air, fish 
frying, stinking everywhere, spilled beer, drunken men staggering without any care. Good job I brought my watch to tell me when, to fish, sleep, and drink, to eat, shit, and think. Good job I know the time on this timeless challenge. Cross lines, worms crawling everywhere, soggy sandwiches, and wet cigarettes screech you at the dock. Laughing from the boat's floor, how humorous it may seem, it's not. Clouds closing in, a bottle has its grand opening, getting ready to turn the fisherman's blood thin. I care not about the rain, this fish, the scratch, or the pain. I like where I'm at, for this is what it's like on the evening on the lake, the home of the mighty trout, the elusive, cunning, wiry trout. Dancing on rainbow showers, he crosses the lake to shame you, to frame you, to claim you. Not you it, but it you. The rod bends with a crash. Lightning is struck, so you'd better watch your ass, or this one's gone and you're it again. Hook him good. He'll want not the pleasure of your ride. He'll bob, weave, turn, and spin. And drunkenness is your only sin. Without water, he has no air. This he understands. The line strands. Breaks. Goodbye, he's gone. And that may lead you to taking drugs, which we don't want to see anybody do. And don't ever let this drug get a hold of you. The drug of your day. The needle, the knock at the door, the spoon lying on the floor. Society has come to take you away. Society will help you from the drug of your day. Its need is always in your mind. Its seed you must try to find. The drug goes through your vein. The point is the only pain. With its own mind, a certain curse, it will entwine upon your body and your mind. Some call it the lady, some call it the horse. You'll call it hell once you feel its force. So open that door, leave a spoon upon the floor, go with society and seek it no more, or have your mind bent beyond repair, your soul without any care. To the day you come down with the world crashing all around. So heed my warning, young one, for I have been there and back have come to tell you this tale so that you will not put your soul up for sale. But there's a simpler drug that we can take. It's called caffeine. It comes in many forms, but uh, this has to be one of my favorite forms. Tea. Golden tea pouring from the spout. Blistering hot, gonna make you shout. Sweet as honey, gonna make you stout. Once swallowed, your soul will soothe. Its fragrance so smooth, its taste you will grew. Tea, ah, tea. The only drink for me. In morning and at night, this drink is out of sight. Let's have a let's have a brewski break here, and uh, we'll get back to you with uh, a few more of them. Uh, I'm hoping to you get the the flow going on here. I might be mixing them up and this and that. We'll probably have to redo this whole thing, but uh, it's a first good try, and I'm I'm starting to feel good about it. So uh, let's uh here's to you. And all your friends. I'd like to welcome the wife home. Everybody say hi to Deb. Deb, say hi to everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. 
Come on now, we want a little more enthusiasm from Deb here. She's been hard working down at the University of Windsor. I want to hear it. Say yeah. Yeah, yeah I see. Good cooperation from the wife here. She doesn't realize that we're actually uh, making history. So what we're going to do is we're going to go down, find ourselves uh, something to get us started off here. We covered quite a bit last time. Okay, we're back on. Sorry for the delay. What we're trying to do here is uh, get a bottle of wine opened and uh, put a light to Mother Nature's natural herb. Thank you very much, honey. That was nice. Well, I'll have that with my dinner. Thank you very much. And uh, you've already heard from my wife. Say hi, Deb. Hi, Deb. Hi, Deb. Deb, Deb is in a, in a in a situation where she's thinking when, like when, you know, when. Constant clouds of dissent crash overhead as you wage the war of life. Fighting negative with positive, survival your only goal, trying to do it without selling your soul. This is the life of the poor, the weak, and the meager. And they shall, and they say, we shall inherit the earth. I say, when? When? <laughs> I'm not a thief, but have stolen. I'm not a liar, but have lied. For I am a survivor of life whose life has broken. And if not for surviving, would have died. We look through our poor eyes and realize those who've laid down and given up and quit. We're ones who have dreamed of that great surprise, but in the end only found shit. So let yourself do what you have to do and never lie down or dream too much. But to steal and lie is survival for you. For life is such, or is it such, is life. A little hell on the heavy philosophical side of life. But with the freedom of rock and roll, rock and roll is the essence of every man that seeks his freedom in speech, mind, and soul. In this religious chorus is it lets go a certain summon unequal in sound straight to the heart with every beat. Its message is found into the mind, its message it entwines, speaking the words of all in its rhythmic rhyme. A tale of freedom is what you'll find. Set your mind and soul free and speak what your spirit wills, the freedom of rock and roll. Are these all feelings of mine? Or is it some part of my big surprise? My surprise. Flying on the wings of insanity, casting away any fields of reality. I ride the skies, fired by the flash of rock and roll and the drug of my soul. Skipping from zone to zone, each timeless second, a world of its own. Crystallized in the mush of the mind, which has come and gone and will never find. Planet Claire, wiry hair. Cotton mouth reflector eyes, all parts of the surprise. Instant paranoia on a breath, a feeling of sudden death. Oh fuck, I wish I could come down, crashing to the planet with the fire all around. Little do I realize, LSD is my surprise. Colors coming in a wild flash. It feels like I'm breathing from my ass. 
Oh my God, what should I do? When in reality, I'd only booked on a short flight to It's almost time to go to the bar. Here we go. This is called the bar of the zoo. And there's zoos here and there's zoos there. That's for sure. There's zoos everywhere. The zoo. A flash of glaring eyes. A mug full of lies. Screaming banshees begin to rise. Tonight, tonight, we're at the zoo and we're going to fight. Fish clashing in the air, blood spattering everywhere. Some have fear, others don't care. One thing is for sure, the whole crew is here. Harry, John, Sally, and Sue. Red lights are flashing as the man grows near. Scattered bodies disappear. Whose fault it is, it is not. No one will tell, but all is not forgot. For this is the zoo. When it gets hot. Maybe you'll get hot one day when you go to Holiday Beach. Maybe the zoo will get hot and we'll go to Holiday Beach. Sounds like a good idea to me. Maybe in November it'll be cold and we'll remember. Besides all of that, I'm throwing it into a wild and crazy little thing. From the winter of 88 and 89, after I came from the mountains, I kept trying to find something that would give me as much inspiration. And one day I found it on top of a concrete mountain, sunrise on the slab. As I reach the new summit of my concrete mountain, the sun pierces between two other man-made monuments. Down in the valley below, the river with its foreign vessels gently flows. I had left the real mountains, Thinking their mystic beauty I would never find. Yet here I stand on a mountain that I can call mine. Reaching out and touching Mother Nature with crimson skies and starry eyes. A knowing love begins to capture my heart and I begin to cry. It's long been since I felt nature's touch. And now in this modern mechanical way, she still reaches Welcome back. Welcome back. We've been trying to find uh, some suitable little uh, poems to uh, read you on this side. And uh, unfortunately, I don't think we have Metallica on this side. So our ear interludes, you're going to have to deal with uh, some other possible band. And... Uh, since uh, the band that you were hearing before was our children's band, I've got no problem about reading a, uh, a poem about all of your children. And it's called All of Your Children. The sun shines in the kitchen window. The morning fire crackles. As a gentle breeze begins to blow, all the backyard birds begin to sing. The grass begins to sway. The feeling in the air, it's going to be a great day. Children playing on their bikes. Some are taking short hikes. Mothers hanging, washing on the line. Fathers trying to get to the lake on time. Everyone is in harmony. Mountains all around. The deer, the moose, the elk, and the bear. All with young so very near, cruise the bush and eat all your children. Yes. <laughs> yeah, one of them crazy mountain poems. Actually, they all started out in the mountains, and this was one I used to work in camp a lot. And uh, when I'd uh, come home, I really dug where I was at, and... Uh, Started jotting down a few things, and uh, it's one of the very first ones. It's called Home Forever. Cook stove still a blasting, music constantly lasting. Snows are blowing, winter's still lasting. 
Minds wandering, hearts rising, I'm fine, so fine. Nice to be at home, home forever. Violence the world over economics failing, widows wailing. Guns are only cover, but I'm fine, so fine. Nice to be home, home forever. Bombs exploding, guns unloading, blood bleeding, children pleading, send me home, home forever, oh home forever. And I was really glad to get home from some of them camp jobs, and that's how I felt about it. But then I said to myself, what are you, some sort of cool fool? I mean, you know, I mean, this ain't cool, writing poetry. So, uh, you know, you go back to your old feelings. And I come up with a thing called Cool Fool. Actually, I first call it True Poetry, but we'll call it Cool Fool. They taught poetry in the school, and we thought the teacher to be a fool. And with us, while we were cool, didn't realize that they, they, them, those fools, were only trying to open eyes. Of us, the cool. Us, the fool. Learn of life the hard way for sure. Learn hard. Try and find the cure. When poetry sang a song, we'd learn before long. So listen, children. Listen to the cool. Listen, or you'll be the fool. And learn the truth. The truth's the hard way. But what cool could think he a fool? For to be a fool, one must be cool. And if that didn't entangle your mind, what else could? Because something's happening here. What it is, ain't exactly clear. But it's starting, and it's coming near. There's an amazement, never any fear. Butterflies flutter along the edge. Deer prance beneath its branches. The eagle soars overhead. The geese follow in formation. It is a new nation. Or just my passion. Or just my imagination running away with me. A natural time warp. A changing of season. A crazy rhyme without no reason. So mystic. Totally magical. If I could only see it, my life would be full. Yeah, we're lost, but not forgotten. Yes, all is lost, and it's come to the end of its time. But all you have to do is concentrate, and it will remain in your mind. For what has been lost shall never be forgotten. This I assure you, my friend, till the end of time. The hunt. Crisp, cold air covers the countryside. The rustle of leaves everywhere. Hunters and animals try and hide. Yet the rush of the hunt has everyone's adrenaline on the run. The dimly lit sky awaits the arrival of the morning sun. When warmth returns to the hunter. And then there's a crash. A flash of weary antlers. The buck has jumped. He's gone again. You stand alone. Your quarry is on its way home. You had had all these other plans. But now you must return home with only sweat on your hands. Not to cry. This is part of the hunt. Going to give you another construction one here as we pound them to your left and right. Might have to take a breather in between as the, as the door of a creaky old washroom closes here. It's called the Sea of Renovations. The house uh, we renovated from one side to the other and took a lady's bathroom and turned it into a very beautiful thing. A sea of renovations. 
After three weeks, when the dust had settled, a new bathroom had rose from where the sunken tub had laid, and the toilet, it did flush, and the shower rained rainbows upon my head. Looking into the oak rim mirror, I saw a man of many faces, carpenter, plumber, electrician, magician. I then walked to the east, and a new room in the north caught my eye, and I was lost in its immensity. I then looked through its blue-gray lined windows and saw a pile of what it was. As I walked across its navy blue rug, I became lost in a sea of renovation. I then floated back to the west, down a long hallway ending in oak-arched entrance. Not wanting to leave, I looked to the south, and an open bay of oak jumped out, and to the north another bay of oak stood out. And on the stairs, with only the stairs left to climb, I started on what would be a future journey into another sea of renovations. Yeah, sometimes uh, you get a little inspired by work. Other times you're left standing there in the night in the West End. That's right. In the West End, brandishing a knife, scouring the deep West End in the darkness of the night, searching for a lost son, the prodigy of my life, hands and mind tied in red tape, left with having to brandish a knife. With many fingers flashing and young boys there stashing, they run for life. Being chased by a man, brandishing a knife. With everywhere to hide and nowhere to run. Faced with this, they decide to start a head-on confrontation. Using wimpy threats and deadened phone lines. They mount their attack. Meanwhile, the mad dog is on his way back. Brandishing a knife. 